What's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors. Uh, today's a sponsored video. We are gonna be testing out this car battery pack that I got in the mail that isn't really made to be used on diesel trucks, but we are gonna test it out on the first gen today and see if it can't crank it over and start a completely dead Cummins. This is a really bad idea. South so bright, listed for sale, yeah. 10 years old, and it looked like hell. All my friends said, don't, I replied, oh lord, it's an F-150, I'm bad for. It stores my tools, can haul a load, but it drinks up gas, and now I'm broke. Well, I jack it up, put on, lift it off, road tires, and be logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud. Well, it's the sand, it defines me who I am. It's more than practical, it's a statement. If you ever think of sailing, good luck. American made, and it's my truck. So, my first gen Cummins, and I am assuming that it's not dead. Nope. It's not dead. So that kind of makes it hard to test the battery pack, right? But we do have this battery that has been sitting in my garage for... I honestly can't even remember the last time this battery's moved. It's got a layer, multiple layers of dust and paint built up on top of it that I'm assuming is probably pretty dang dead and it's probably been sitting here forever for a reason. So what we're gonna do is take the battery out of the Cummins and we are going to put this old, Probably bad battery in the Cummins. Try to start it, make sure that it, it is dead. And then we're going to hook the battery pack up to it and see if that'll get her to crank over. Before I get too far in this video, I would like to just thank you guys for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at the end. And if you don't, then don't. And also I'd like to make a little announcement. Um, I do have a second channel that I made. It's kind of more of just a fun channel called Up North Indoors. Uh, where I'll do some gaming videos on there and do some maybe like tech reviews. I've had some people ask me about like my editing setup and like details on my computer build and stuff like that. Um, it's not something I post very often on. It's something I'll probably only post on probably like twice a month or something because I don't want um, I don't want that channel to take away time from this channel, the main channel, that I'm wanting to put most of my work and time and effort in making videos for. But it's something fun that I made that maybe every once in a while I'll post a gaming video on and do some tech reviews and maybe some videos like on my new camera gear that I get and on my PC and everything like that and the software that I use to edit videos. Uh, so if that interests any of you guys, the link is in the description below with Up North Indoors. And if that doesn't interest you, then don't even bother looking at it. So, here is the battery pack that I got sent in the mail. It is made by Jump and Go. 
Um, I will, at the end of this video, we're going to take this inside and I'll actually go through it, tell you guys the price on it, and I'll show you like everything it comes with and all that good stuff. But right now, I just want to test it out, make sure it works. Because even though this is a sponsored video, um, I don't want to like lie to you guys or anything, so if the battery pack doesn't work at all, um, obviously I'm not going to be promoting it. I don't want to promote anything on this channel that I wouldn't personally buy myself because I think that's just messed up. All right, there's the old batteries out, the one that's working, and then it's a crappy battery that we're putting in. Alrighty, I got the crappy, dusty battery installed. It's ready to be jump started. I'm just gonna test this, make sure it is indeed a dead battery. Oh yeah, doesn't even turn the radio on. She's dead dead. It actually comes in this pretty handy dandy little carrying case here, which is pretty, pretty slick, I suppose. Kind of hard to open a zipper with one hand though. Which I did already open this once and charge it up. So it's pretty small actually. It's really compact compared to um, some of the bigger battery packs. There it's full battery. And then got the power cables up here that'll take out and I'll go through all the other charge and stuff and everything that is in here later. I'm gonna pull these cables out. All right, and here are the cables. And then they just plug into the back there and you're ready to go. All right, got it all hooked up here. It's kind of nice, it's got some different settings on here. Uh, this would be a perfect tool for the wife or the girlfriend or the daughter or the, I guess I shouldn't just be excluding women or a man that's not vehicle um, mechanically inclined. Um, Cause it's got actually a setting on here where if you reverse hook them up it'll buzz at you and tell you that you hooked them up the wrong way because um, obviously you want positive positive negative negative so yeah just gonna turn her on and then press the boost button boom green but light is on wow 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 Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I am really impressed. Um, this tiny little battery pack, and you guys saw that battery was dead, dead. That battery was dead, dead. Like, didn't even turn the electronics on. So I was basically just straight up jumping this thing from just this, like this was basically the only power source that my starter was getting to start this truck. And uh, <laughs> it did it. I, I am really impressed. I'm really surprised. Wow. Wow. So uh, yeah, they claim that you can jump start a truck or, well, actually these are made for cars. I do have to say that. These are made for cars, these are not made for diesel trucks. But they claim that you can jump start a car in less than 10 seconds with a J20C Jump and Go. That's the model. This is the J20C model, made by Jump and Go again. And they claim you can do it in less than 10 seconds. And, well, I believe it. That is impressive. Very impressed. Shut her off. And this thing is not very warm, like at all either. I haven't driven this thing in a couple days. And when I fired it up in the beginning of the video, just to show you that the one battery had power and the one I put it in wasn't, just so you guys knew I wasn't like staging it or whatever. Um, I only let it run for like 30 seconds, a minute, and then I shut it back off. So it really wasn't warm at all. Uh, so it's basically starting, that battery pack was pretty much starting a uh, ice cold diesel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be heading back inside because I'm still getting over being sick here and I am feeling pretty cold. And then I'm just gonna go through 
this with you guys, show you guys everything that's inside the box, everything that it comes with, and how really simple and easy it actually is uh, to use. Alrighty, we are back inside, and we're gonna crack this thing open and show you guys what all it comes with when you order the jump and go. So basically you open up the box and then you've got everything just comes right in this case right away, which is nice. You don't have a ton of like random packaging and stuff like that that you have to all take out and put together. Bull crap is already all in the case for you. Fits in there nice. Um, no complaints on that. And you open it up and it should look like this. Right under here in this bottom pocket is the battery pack itself. And then in the top, we've got all of the cords, which I'll pull out right now. All right, so here's all the cords that it comes with. You have got the jumper cables themselves. We have a car charger, which is pretty sweet. So um, when you're just driving your vehicle, when it's not dead, and you're driving it, you can keep this thing plugged in and make sure you've always got it charged in case you need it. We've got the wall charger as well. And then right here, which is pretty slick, we've got a USB with three cables built in. Looks like we have a USB-C cable, an iPhone charger cable, and um, a micro USB cable for like Android phones and whatnot. So that is actually pretty slick. So you can actually plug this thing in, which it's got right back behind the carrying handle here. It's got all these that you can pull up right here. Oops. There we go. You've got USB slots in here so you can charge your phone and all that good stuff with this battery pack as well. Ideally, I think this would probably be like a perfect battery pack. Let's say um, you're into doing some like camping and stuff like that or you got an off-road rig that you sometimes will stay the night or just kind of go pretty far out with. I think this is a pretty good thing to bring along because you can jump your battery. Uh, and also if your phone dies, you can plug it in. Um, you can charge it while you're going in the vehicle. You can even charge camera gear. Uh, it's probably something I'll use it for. Because it's got the USB slots on it as well. Or just a good thing to keep in the car, even for emergencies too, especially here in northern Minnesota where we can get pretty bad blizzards sometimes and get snowed in. Um, and your car's dead, and let's say your phone's dead too, and you're not able to call anybody for help. Um, you can start your car with this, and you can charge your phone to be able to try to contact help too. So again, big thanks to Jump and Go for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will have a link in the description below. House update. I know a lot of you guys saw my first couple house videos of we got that rental property and our renter is now officially moved out and we have the whole house to ourselves now. So we're going really hard on renovating and we're gonna really be kicking it off this weekend. So I want to do a full inside house tour for you guys this weekend because I know I didn't get to do a tour of the downstairs in the basement before because we had a renter, a tenant down there. So obviously we couldn't just barge in with a camera. Uh, so we can finally do a full house tour and tell you guys our plans for the property. So that's kind of my plans for the weekend, what you guys can expect for a video, as well as we're gonna be doing some sherping on Saturday and probably breaking through some ice again. So you could probably expect a shirt video this weekend, a house video this weekend, and then a truck video somewhere sprinkled in there as well. God bless guys, this has been Colin here with Up North Outdoors and I will see you in the next one. Oh, hey, yeah, don't forget to check out um, my other channel too if you guys are interested in any of that kind of nerdy stuff.